Part two of meeting people. Expressions and phrases you can say to Japanese. So hopefully you are reading hiragana now, and we have the kanji, but we also have furigana, which is the small hiragana above the, the, the kanji. Now, if you're not reading hiragana, which you should be, we do have it all. We do have it all here for you in Romanji. But really, you should avoid learning Romanji and just learn hiragana and get straight into the kanji. So, you're meeting Japanese and you're introducing yourself. And this is what you should say. Now, this whole phrase... Yoroshiku onigaishimasu is a tricky one because it's, it's not only used for just greetings. It's also used in quite a lot of situations. Tra um, book, textbooks will translate yoroshiku onigaishimasu to mean nice to meet you or something like hajime mashite, how do you do? I'm John, nice to meet you. Now, it doesn't really mean that, but I guess textbooks just want to make it easy. Yoroshiku onigaishimasu really means something more like... Onigaishimasu is a request. So it's kind of asking, please think of me kindly. Is that right, Kaoru? Sort of. Sort of. Or... Just... Um saying we are not enemy <laughs> we're not enemies okay so yeah I've, I've i've had japanese tell me it's it's more like let's build a good relationship yes. or let's establish a good relationship mm -hmm. but basically we cannot translate this phrase for you in english there's just there's so much culture in this one expression yes that um i'm um, basically what you're saying is right if you go back hundreds of years japanese had a very polite and structured social system where customs, the way you behaved, Japanese almost sort of lived in fear of being rude, of hurting other people's feelings. So they developed expressions and certain body language, I guess. And that's obviously that's changed and evolved. But yeah, you're sort of saying let's start things on the right foot mm. but uh, it depends on situation exactly yes but most likely for someone for a foreigner going to japan living in japan yeah and if it's a, a very casual situation yes and then this uh, for this situation mm. is yeah this means uh, nice to meet you. Nice, to meet, nice you. to meet you. So probably between a Japanese and a foreigner, it does mean nice to meet you. But between Japanese, depending on the situation, it can have a variety of meanings. <laughs> you can just say, Hajimemashite, your name, des, yoroshiku. Hmm. It doesn't have to be, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Because uh, you sound a bit too text textbook so there we have it. Moving on to our next expression, Kaoru. Mada Nihon ni kita bakari desu. Okay, so this is an answer to the question. Can you think of the question? What's the question, Kaoru? Itsu Nihon ni kita no? Alright. So, when did you come to Japan? And here's your answer. Mada Nihon ni kita bakari desu. Mm. So, Mada Nihon ni Kitabakari desu. Kitabakari is just come. So, I've only just come to Japan. 
I've only just arrived in Japan. So you'd say this if you, you arrived in Japan two, two or three days before. Um, let's say you arrived two months before. What would you say, Kaoru? Fairly simple stuff. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So, can you work out the、uh, question to this answer? Kaoru? Nande kita no? Nande kita no? Nande ni h o n i kita no? Why did you come to Japan? So, the reason is travel. I came here to travel. Ryoko de kimashita. Let's say you were on business. You would say. Shigoto de kimashita. Shigoto, meaning work or business. Shigoto de kimashita. And if it was study, it would be benkyo shi ni kimashita. Yes. Benkyo de kimashita. Benkyo de kimashita. All right, we've covered that. Moving on to the next one. Ishukan iru yote des. Ishukan, one week, iru, to be here one week, yote des. I plan to be here for one week. One more time, Kaoru. Ishukan iru yote des. I plan to be here for one week. So this is an answer to the question. So that means, いつまで日本にいるの Yes. Yes. Meaning, how long are you in Japan?、Uh, I plan to be here for a week. And this is really simple. You just have to remember this. And you can change the time frame. So it could be, いかげつかんいるよてです。一年間いるよてです。I'm here for a year.、Mm. Okay, so let's say you're, you're having a conversation.、Um, Japanese are very quick to compliment foreigners who can speak Japanese. And they'll say something like, Your Japanese is good, or You speak Japanese well. Kaoru? How do you say that? Nihongo jōzu desu ne. Meaning. Skillful or good.、Mm. Okay, and in Japan, you want to be humble or disagree. So if you are complimented, you should say something like this Nihongo wa skoshi dake hanasemas. Nihongo. This means Japanese as in the language. Skoshi, a little, dake, only, hanasemas. And here's the potential verb form again. So, Hana shimas is to speak. So, hana semas is to be able to speak. So, I can only speak a little Japanese. Is that right, Kaoru? Yes, that's right. And if we have a look at the word Nihongo, we can change. If you change the country name, most of the time you'll get the Language, na-、uh, the native language to that country. So if you're from Spain,、um, Spain and you speak Spanish, how do we say Spanish, Kaoru? Spain go. What about French? France go. Okay. Now, if you come from America or Canada or England or Australia, your, your native language is English. And to say that in Japanese, you say, Ego. Ego. So there we have it. One more time, Kaoru. Nihongo wa skoshi dake hanasemas. Our next expression if you are having trouble understanding what's being said, you can request for someone, for the, for the, for the person you're speaking to, to speak more slowly. Kaoru. Mo skoshi. Let's go backwards. Kudasai, please. Hanashte, speak. Te form here. Hanashte, kudasai. Please speak. Yukuri, slowly. More skoshi, a little more. 
So can you please speak a little more slowly? Our next one is a reply to the question Nihon Shoku wa taberemasu ka? Karu, let's have a look at the answer. Nihon Shoku wa natto igai nan demo taberemasu. Okay, so if we have a look at the verb taberemasu, I can eat nan demo anything. So if you can eat any Japanese food, you could just answer by saying nan demo taberemasu. But let's have a look at this. Natto igai. Natto is a fermented soybeans. And if you know if you know a little bit about Japan, you probably know this word. Um, fermented soybeans. It took me about 10 years to become to like them. They're um, smelly. They look don't look too good. Sticky. sticky and gooey and you're very strong smelling and but it's healthy extremely healthy yeah mm. so let's imagine you cannot eat natto so you can say natto igai igai means with the exception of mm. except so nihon shoku wa Regarding Japanese food, nato igai nan demo So if someone were to ask you the question, can you eat Japanese food? Can you handle Japanese food, Kaoru? Nihon shoku taberemasu ka? You could just reply, nato igai nan demo You don't really need to say, nihon shoku wa. Mm. Now here we have um, what I call experience questions and answers. So Kaoru, let's have a look at these answers. First one. Mada tabeta koto ga nai desu. So this is basically saying I haven't eaten it yet. So this is um, a response to a question that's obviously asking you, have you tried something? Have you eaten something? So as an example, Kaoru, could you ask me, have I eaten eel? Unagi o tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? One more time. Unagi o tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? So have you eaten eel? And I could say, no, I haven't. I haven't eaten it yet. Mara tabeta koto ga nai desu. Okay. Um, if we have a look at this one, Kaoru. Mada. So this is saying I haven't been. So it's a reply to a question asking you if you've been somewhere. So let's imagine, Kaoru, you're asking someone if they've been to Nara, the oldest city in Japan. You would ask? Have you been to Nara? And let's say you haven't. Now, if you have been to Nara, you'd say, Hi, itta koto ga arimasu. And if you had eaten eel, you could say, Hi, tabeta koto ga arimasu. Now, the great thing about these answers and questions is all you got to do is change the past tense verb. So, if we'd say... I don't know, have you seen, oh, what's a popular Japanese movie? Seven Samurai, Shichinin no Samurai. So ask me if I've seen that movie, Kaoru. Shichinin no Samurai, mita koto arimasu ka? I could say, hai, mita koto ga arimasu. So there we have it. We've completed the second part of the lesson. And now you should move on to the audio section where you're going to practice these responses. And remember, if you want to get fast results, you need to repeat aloud after Kaoru. Then after that, we have a sample dialogue. So get into your practice.